Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am super, super excited to be back here on my channel. I missed all of you. So I'm not going to pretend like I'm going to talk about why I've been MIA. Nobody cares. I don't even care. So let's just get down to business. This video is going to be about my current favorite perfumes that I use often. Because I'm going to show you how I display my perfumes. This is my perfume. I don't even know what to call it perfume display case. So the first perfume that I'm going to show you guys is from Zara. I got this back when malls were open. <laughs> I love this perfume for like, you know, when I'm about to go to sleep because it has a hint of vanilla in the perfume which helps me relax. I know for a lot of people the scent of lavender helps them calm down but for me it's vanilla. I love a vanilla scent on me. Not to mention it was very affordable. I forgot how much it was, but I don't I don't think it was more than $25 to be honest with you. And also before I go to bed, just to relax and just calm myself down. Um, the next perfume I'm going to talk about is something I got recently. So this is C. I think it's called Fiori by Giorgio Armani. C has many different varieties and versions of this perfume, especially the red bottle that I'm pretty sure most of you are aware of. That one smells more floral, and floral scent to me is not something I gear towards. This one smells more spicy and mysterious. This reminds me of the body wash that I own by Caress. It's very boss-like, regular square bottle. This perfume right here, also pink centered, and you can tell I use a lot of it. And this one is by Burberry and it's called Her. I believe they have the vanilla version and also intense version. I never tried those. I would love to in the future. Oh my god, this smells amazing. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna go through this just to tell you at the end. Like this is by far my favorite perfume on earth every time i put this on i just feel super super feminine this particular perfume smells like to be quite blunt fresh strawberries and vanilla that's it that's all i smell usually you know strawberry scents they come off too artificial and it just doesn't smell right but this one oh my goodness when i feel like it was done right it smells it's a little bit fresh but mostly musky i smell the vanilla bean and strawberries that's all i smell honestly and just smells so good my second favorite. Look how much I used. This one, I got it for only $65 because this is a celebrity perfume. Some of my celebrity perfumes tend to be more affordable than designer perfumes. This one's by Ariana Grande. I'm pretty sure all of you are aware of this perfume. Um, the reason why it's popular be is because this scent is very similar. Very, very similar to... Baccarat Rouge 540, which I have. Um, it came in a set of three. I'll talk about this one later. But this, these two are very, very similar. So if you're really looking to experience this, just go ahead and buy the Ariana Grande. I'm telling you, because like these two are so similar. I will say this though, Ariana Grande. Even though it's a perfume, I'll say it's on a lighter side. It's a lighter note, um, so it doesn't really last on my skin for more than, I would say like three, four hours. So I do have to layer up often. You know, when you mix whipped cream and sugar, that's what it smells like to me. I'm not even gonna be corny and say, oh, it smells like cotton candy, because it doesn't. No, it smells like a hint of burnt sugar, a vanilla bean, and just candy, you know? But in a very romantic way, if that makes sense. To be honest with you, when I, I'm not even gonna lie, just like everyone else, the reason why I got this in the first place is because I wanted to experience what Baccarat Rouge was about. And I wasn't about to spend $460 Canadian on something that I never smelled before. So I decided to try this. I was instantly in love with this particular perfume. <sighs> it smells amazing. This one, the only difference with this perfume is that it lasts way longer. To be honest with you, this is a waste because this spray nozzle, right, it projects so much. Like, I don't really want to waste it, but I'll show you. You see this? That, that's too much. What are you doing? This thing costs like $300. Why are you spraying all over the place, man? Like, I want to use a little bit at a time. Like, shoot, this is this is truly for, like, filthy rich people. You, you see? And you know, with this perfume, because it's well concentrated, you don't need that much. So why are you projecting it all over the place, man? Spraying a, somebody's sun. Spray it on me! Don't spray it everywhere. Shoot. The only difference between these two 
Something like that. This one is much sweeter. It has more of a burnt sugar scent. This is a good perfume, but please use it on a special occasion. You see the way it's spraying everywhere. Spraying the whole earth. Eh? Don't you want to save your money? Please. You get the Ariana Grande. Um, this one is $65. This one is $400. Don't you want to save your money? This is 50 mil! 50 mil for $65! And I spent almost $300 on 33 mil. Well, thanks for the extra 3 mil. I feel so special. Pink Sugar by Aqualina. Is it Aquafina or Aqualina? Oh, it's, oh my gosh, now it smells like a, a pure burnt sugar. This one was recommended by Kathleen Lights. She's been raving about it for so long. So I think last year I purchased this. It was very cheap. Ah, uh, please, people, don't buy this on Sephora, eh? For some reason, they jack up the price with Sephora. And I got this from a Shoppers Drug Mart on sale for like $19. Why is the same one selling for $58? What, why are people doing this? Just because it's from Sephora to get points? Don't buy from Sephora, please. Walk into any Shoppers Drug Mart and get this for $19 on sale. Even if it's on not on sale, it's like 20 something dollars anyway. This one smells like pure sugar. It's similar. I wouldn't say it's similar. If you take away all the sugar content from Ariana Grande's perfume and put it into this bottle, that's, that, that's what it smells like. It smells like just pure yumminess. It smells like um, sugar cookies. If you really think about it, people love sweets. So these perfumes are well received by other people, I'm telling you. Uh, when I'm in my parents store and I'm working there I wear perfumes and I still get compliments okay even though we're both wearing masks so don't be afraid to wear perfumes now okay you can use perfumes to uplift your spirit so okay so moving on this one when I smelled this in Sephora because I remember back in Japan when we lived in Japan so many girls in the magazine were raving about light blue, light blue, this, light blue, light blue, light blue, light blue. I'm like, what is a light blue? Like, light blue is light blue in Japan. That's how they pronounce it. Light blue. So I'm like, what is a light blue? And you can see how banged up this thing is. This thing cost me like about $200. I just fell in love with this man. And I feel like this is the only perfume that brings down my body heat in, during summer. So this one smells like fresh cut lemon, just fresh white crisp t-shirts just so refreshing to the point where like if you wear this in the morning it will knock you girl like it will wake you up fresh okay um when i wear this in the summer i feel so breezy even if it's hot like because of the perfume and when i smell it like it's so refreshing to the point where like it cools me down it just works well with me um i've gotten so many compliments when i used to work in a retail environment like customers used to come up to me like, are you wearing light blue? I'm like, yes, girl. Real recognizes real. <laughs> uh, it's mostly for summer though. But I've had people stop me and ask me what I'm wearing. I'm like, I'm wearing Victoria's Secret. Yes, I'm one of those girls that don't like to share information. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. R and Co. The first one was recommended by Rosita Applebaum here on YouTube. She's like my YouTube sister in my head. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know who I am, but I love all her perfume videos. This one is, it's a fragrance spray, but you can use it as a room spray. You can use it on your hair, your body. I love this. I just spritz this all over me when I'm at home and not doing anything. This smells like fresh laundry. It smells like a Sunday morning where you wake up in the morning try to be productive go downstairs and just do your laundry that's what it smells like it smells so clean and so fresh i think this is also unisex because i can see guys wear this too but um you know if you want to go to a grocery store and it's the last minute just throw this on it smells so clean it smells so amazing and fresh and just put together i love this spray so since i loved this body spray from R & Co. I decided to try Relative Paradise. Um, and this is what the bottle looks like. Sometimes my Japanese comes out with bottle. Bottle. This bottle is 241ml, 8.5 fluid ounces. This smells more woodsy to me. I'm not going to spray it on myself because at this point I'm wearing way too much. But this smells like um, it has hints of floral. Again, I'm not really into floral scents, but this one I can tolerate because it has a hint of woodsy scent in it that tones down the, you know, the fresh cut flower scent. But yeah, I don't really wear this as much. I, if anything, I wear this more often than this one, but it's nice to have it. You know, sometimes I can, I spray this on my bed so like, you know, have a good night's sleep. Smoothie Star by, what is this? Uh, Soap and Glory. 
Again, this brand, Soap and Glory, was introduced by Rosita Applebaum and I've been hooked ever since. This one, I am in love. Like, I've never smelled anything like this before. Now, if this was a perfume, girl, I'll be wearing this every day. But this is a... This is a body mist. But it literally smells like vanilla milkshake. Literally. That's what it smells like with a um, hint of like... Um, like alcohol scent, not in a bad way, but that's literally what this smells like. It's very vanilla -y. again. I love vanilla scents. Um, so this one is it's not a perfume, they have the perfume one, but that particular perfume by this brand hasn't been well received by customers for some reason. So I stay out far away from that. This is 30 mil. It came in a set. Um, as usual, this smells like ugh, bright summer, just vacation that we literally can't take right now coconutty very caramel like it has caramel scents and you know caramel scent is very similar to vanilla scents so that's why i love it but oh too much too much but it smells good you see how it was projecting you know so far that's what it does this thing this this thing <laughs> this is by toka this one is cleopatra the only way I can purchase Toka products is through Sephora, unfortunately, because I live in Canada. Um, Toka does have its own website and it carries so many different products like, you know, not only fragrance, but hair mist, lotion, body washes, soaps, and candles and whatnot. But you can directly purchase from the website if you live in Canada. So obviously, I ended up on Sephora's website. My favorite scents out of all the scents is Maya, but I have the roller on because I just couldn't spend a hundred dollars on a whole perfume when I like so many of them and at the back of this perfume it says love yourself this smells like it literally smells like you went to a hotel in France okay that's what it smells like I've never been to France okay but we're gonna ignore the fact that I've never been to France but the, I imagine that's what it's gonna smell like not breads or pastries or anything but it smells very it smells very very wealthy so like Girl, if you're broke, don't wear this. Shoot. This makes you smell like you're very, very wealthy. Okay? Cologne-like. It's This is not a light scent. I think that's why it's for hair. Especially for me. I like to wear weaves and stuff. But sometimes, like, when you over-process the weave. Um, for example, this one's balayage. So, obviously, I have to process it. When you do that, you burn the hair. And the hair doesn't receive scent well. So, it's nice to have something like a hair cologne or hair perfume to add you know scent back into the hair because it doesn't really retain the scent from shampoos and conditioners so that's what i use this for i only wear this when i'm going shopping or something and i want to smell bougie i want my hair to smell bougie two um hair clones from kristen s so if you live in us you can go to any target and purchase her products she has shampoos conditioners for all hair types which is amazing she even have hair dyes boo like she's popping right now like she's all over youtube and her products are amazing so the first thing i tried is um the one signature so this is kristen s the one signature conditioner and this one smells exactly like this so this is the perfume of this one and you can use it for your hair Girl, do you know how many compliments I got for wearing this just on my hair? Just on my hair. Do you know how many people complimented? Customers who are wearing masks. And I'm wearing masks. So I don't know that they can smell me. But shoot, I'm behind the glass. They say, oh my gosh, this store smells amazing. And I'm like, yeah. Thinking it was ripe sour sap that I got from last week. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, the sour sap is nice and ripe. You know, it's good for juicing now. I'm trying to sell the sour sap to her because sour sap is quite expensive. But she's like, no, 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 it smells like perfume. So I'm like, the only perfume I was wearing was this. This thing lasts so long on my skin, on my hair especially. Like, my hair loves this scent. And it makes it smell like a rich... Oh. I'm sorry, but this has to be one of my top three. You see, I'm a very visual person. So describing scents is quite challenging for me. If I were to describe somebody to you, I'll be able to do that by roasting. However, this one I can't because it's a scent. So it's, it's something you have to experience for yourself. This smells amazing. This smells expensive, rich, just... It's a soapy scent. Um, when you see Dylan Blue, it smells like, shoot, like I just hopped out of the shower in France. It smells expensive. It smells like old money. This is what it smells, it smells like. I decided to try another line. Now this one, I don't like it as much. It's just too... It lasts nicely on my skin. It's too masculine for me. Um, I think men can use this too. It smells very light. It smells like linen, like fresh linen. 
so yes it does have that um fresh tone to it soft and you can layer this as much as you want and you won't smell like you know you're trying too hard which i like i haven't worn this in so long because i don't really enjoy it as much but nonetheless i still use it because i bought it and i don't like to waste anything anyway guys that is it for my perfume collection i hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah i just want to say thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you in the next video god bless you and i love you bye